Let's have a quick conversation about the top 10 balance transfer credit cards from credit unions with 0% APR on balance transfers and purchases. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the top 10 balance transfer credit cards from credit unions with 0% APR on balance transfers and purchases. So I really want to save you money. I'm going to save you a lot of cash today. Number 10, folks, we have the American Heritage Credit Union Platinum Preferred. Our score, 7 over 10. So American Heritage Credit Union offers for a period of 9 months a 0% intro APR on purchases as well as balances transferred within 30 to 60 days of account opening. There is no balance transfer fee and after the intro period, a fixed APR of 999% applies and in terms of credit, credit, uh, re, uh, credit bureau, American Heritage Credit Union Pools, TransUnion, and Experian. So this is a great card. Not a, the, the APR is kind of cool, okay? You can earn a bonus of a 1,500 scorecard rewards points when you spend $1,500 in the first 90 days. And we love the fact that this card has no balance transfer fees, no annual fees uh, that you have scorecard rewards. And that's just fantastic. It has, in terms of benefits, it has all the, the constellation of benefits you can expect from a MasterCard card, okay? So American Heritage Credit Union, Platinum Preferred, 7 over 10. Number 9, folks, we have PenFed. Our score, 7.5 over 10. On all its credit cards, PenFed offers, for a period of 12 months, a 0% intro APR on balances transferred within 60 days of account opening. There is a 3% balance transfer fee, and there is no promotional offer for purchases. So after the intro period, variable APRs apply, currently ranging from 7.49% to 17.99%. And in terms of credit bureau, PenFed frequently pulls Equifax. Okay, what we love with PenFed is that soft pull is possible on all pe on all PenFed credit card application. So you can go for a soft pull to see if you have uh, some chances to, uh, to qualify before applying. And we are talking about the four PenFed credit cards. So we have the Power Cash Rewards Visa Signature. We have the Gold Visa. We have the Platinum rewards visa signature and then we have the, the pen fed pathfinder rewards visa signature okay those are great cards and they all feature a zero percent uh, intro apr on balances transferred within 60 days of account opening okay and uh, the period 12 months so this is really good number eight folks we have navy fed our score eight over ten for new gold rewards and platinum card holders Navy Fed offers for a period of 12 months a 0% intro APR on balances transferred within 60 days of account opening. For the Go Rewards, they also have a 0.99% intro APR on purchases for 6 months. There is no balance transfer fee. And after the intro period, variable APRs apply currently between 899% to 18% for Gold Rewards and 599% to 18% for Platinum, okay? And Navy Fed pulls all three, all three credit bureaus. So they, they pull uh, TransUnion, Equifax, and uh, Experian. And what we love with, uh, with Navy Fed cards is that when you talk about the Gold Rewards, you can earn 50K, 15,000 bonus points. They have, you have low intro APR offers. There is no annual fee, we love that. And you can get your Gold Rewards credit card and you will earn all the points I just uh, just spoke about. You have 3x points at restaurants, 2x points on gas, 1x points on everything else. And for the Platinum, you can save on balance transfers with a low APR, okay? But you can also uh, take control of your finances in terms of all the tools that you need to uh, better your financial profile. So Navy Fed, 8 over 10. Number 7, folks, we have here, Consumers Credit Union. I was scored. 8.5 over 10. On all its credit cards, Consumers Credit Union offers for a period of 12 months a 0% intro APR on purchases as well as balances transferred within 365 days of account opening. You heard that right. 
365 days, okay? And a balance transfer fee applies either 3% of the amount of each transfer or 5% of a $5 minimum, whichever is greater. So after the intro period, a variable APR of 9.70% to 22.99% applies depending on the card and your credit worthiness. And Consumers Credit Union pulls TransUnion. So when we talk about Consumers Credit Union, we're talking about actually uh, a couple of credit cards. So we have the Visa Platinum. We have the Visa Platinum Rewards. We have the Visa Signature Rewards. And then we have the Visa Signature Cash Rebate. All right. So when you talk about the Visa Platinum, you have uh, this is the lowest uh, rate card. You have generous credit limits, no annual fee. But the Visa Platinum Rewards, you can earn rewards points for gifts and travel. For the Visa Signature Rewards, you can earn uh, rewards points for merchandise and travel. You can earn 3x points on grocery store and convenience store purchases, 2x points on gas, 1x points on everything else. And for the Visa Signature Cash Rebate, you can earn 3% cash rebate on grocery store and convenience store purchases, 2% cash rebate on gas, 1% cash rebate on everything else. Great cards. Number six, folks, we have Aligned Visa Platinum. Our score, 8.5 over 10. And Aligned Credit Union offers, for a period of 12 months, a 0% intro APR on purchases as well as balances transferred within 60 days of account opening. There is a balance transfer fee of 2% of the amount transferred, $5 minimum. And after the intro period, a variable APR of 10.24 to 22.24% applies depending on your credit worthiness and state of residence. And in terms of credit bureau, Align Credit Union mainly pulls TransUnion. Okay, so when you think about this card, this is a great card, the Align Visa Platinum. Again, all the credit unions I'm, I've been talking about so far are national credit unions. In other words, they are open to the public. You don't have to have any military, any military, any biological, any, any geographical uh, affiliation to qualify, any professional affiliation, no. There are ways to get, it, to get the membership here, okay? And so what we love about the Align Visa Platinum is that this is great for balance transfers. If you want to consolidate your debt from high interest cards into one payment, you have zero dollar for liability guarantee, no annual fee. You have generous credit lines. You have low standard, so low standard APRs. This is really wonderful. You have EMV chip for enhanced security. And this card works fantastically with Google Pay, Apple Pay and Samsung Pay. Wonderful. The Align Visa Platinum 8.5 over 10. Number five, we have Connexus Max Cash Preferred. Our score, nine over 10. And Connexus offers here, for a period of 12 months, a 0% intro APR on balances transferred within 366, day, 366 days of account opening. You heard that right. One year of account opening. So the, the offer is valid for one year, okay? A balance transfer fee applies either 3% of the amount of each transfer or $5 minimum, whichever is greater. So after the intro period, a variable APR of 14.49% to 23.49% applies, and Connexus itself doesn't pull. Elon, which is a subsidiary of US Bank, is the underlying issuer here, and they are the ones who pull your credit and make the credit decision. And US Bank frequently pulls TransUnion and Experian, depending on your state. Okay, something you need to be very careful about. And what we love about this card, the Connexus Mass Cash Preferred, is that you are able to have 2% unlimited cashback on on one everyday category of your choice, 1% unlimited cashback on other eligible purchases. This is really good. You have $150 bonus rewards after you spend $500 within the first 90 days of account opening. Fantastic. Number four, folks, we have here. Service Credit Union Visa Signature Everyday Elite. Our score, 9 over 10. And Service Credit Union offers, for a period of 12 months, a 0% intro APR on purchases as well as balances transferred within 60 days of account opening. Okay, a balance transfer fee of 1% applies. This is really good. So after the intro period, a variable APR of 14.15% to 18% is enforced. 
depending on the card and your credit worthiness. And Service Credit Union pulls all three bureaus. This is kind of this is a great card. We we, we love Service Credit Union in general. And uh, with this card, you can receive 1.5 rewards point for every dollar spent, and you can earn 15,000 bonus points when you spend $1,500 in the first 60 days. This, this is just fantastic. And the cool thing here is that you can use the points for cash back, travel, and more with uh, their rewards partner. You choose rewards. That's just fantastic. Okay, you can choose. You can take advantage of uh, Visa's signature benefits. We have cell phone protection plan. We have travel and emergency assistance services emergency card replacement, extended warranty protection, and purchase security. So overall, this is a great card. The Service Credit Union Visa Signature Everyday Elite. I will score it 9 over 10. Number 3, folks, we have the NIH FCU Visa Platinum. So NIH FCU stands for National Institute of Health Federal Credit Union. I will score 9.5 over 10. So the card is called the NIH FCU Visa Platinum. And NIH FCU offers for a period of 15 months, a 0% intro APR on purchases as well as balance, balances transferred within 90 days of account opening. There is a balance, tran tran there is a balance transfer fee of $10 or 2% of the amount of each balance transfer, whichever is greater. And after the intro period, a variable APR of 7.99% to 16.99% applies depending on your credit worthiness and state of residence. And NIH FCU mainly pulls Equifax, okay? So what we love with uh, NIH Visa Platinum is that you have a constellation of benefits. You have a great card, you have a, a long period for uh, for debt consolidation if you choose to go that route, okay? And uh, the, card is, the card is just fantastic. You're able to make payments, balance, uh, transfer balances, control card access, and do all everything that you need. And one thing you need to understand is that uh, the NIH FCU Visa Platinum is a card that you can also use for purchases. You can uh, you can get cash back or rewards, but you need to contact the credit union directly, because what they do is they can customize this card for you based on based on your needs. If you have a strong relationship with a credit union. Number two, folks, we have Connecta, My Perks Rewards. By the way. I'll be right back right after this. I'll continue right after the, the break. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. Uh, I'm still talking to you about 10 balance transfer cards from uh, credit unions. Number two, folks, we have Kinecta My Perks Rewards. Our score, 9.5 over 10. Kinecta offers for a period of 18 months a 0% intro APR on balances transferred within 90 days of account opening. There is a balance transfer fee of $10 or 3% of the amount of each balance transfer, whichever is greater. So after the intro period, a variable APR of 9.99% to 18% applies depending on your credit worthiness and state of residence, okay? So this is really great. And uh, Kinecta mainly pulls Experian, okay? And what we love with this card is that you have a constellation of benefits also. You have 3% cash back on gas, so you, you actually actually getting paid for your drive. You have 2% cash back on groceries, okay? 1% cash back on everything else, and up to 20% annual bonus rewarding you for your loyalty we love that okay and what we also love is that uh, you're able to actually consolidate debts this is really good okay you you can actually also uh, secure your balances you can check your balances you can make payments with this card you can even freeze your card this is really good you can enroll in credit card e-statements if you want to uh, be able to access your statements on the go this is really good also okay so that you are reducing the risk of mail fraud and identity theft so connect up my perks rewards 9.5 over 10. Number one, folks, the best of the best in our view, the best of the best, Connexus Platinum. Our score 10 over 10. So Connexus offers for a period of 20 months. Did you hear that? 20 months. A 0% intro APR on purchases and as well as balances transferred within 620 days of account opening. This is just fantastic. 620 days, folks. Whew. A balance transfer fee applies either 3% of the amount of uh, each transfer or $5 minimum, whichever is greater. So after the intro period, a variable APR of $13.99 to $23.99% applies. And Connexus itself, as I said before, does not pull because Elon 
the, the, the parent company, also another subsidiary of the US Bank, is the underlying issuer. And they are the ones who pull your credit and make the credit decision. So US Bank frequently pulls TransUnion and Experian, depending on your state. I say, okay, so really, with this offer, Connexus is really, really, really smashing this rundown. Okay, check out this, the proof on the screen. They have 620 days. That's just fantastic. I've never heard, I've never seen this. Our team has never seen this. So you're talking about more than, uh, more, more than what? 18 months, 20 months, maybe? That's just, uh, that's just fantastic. So, uh, no, I think uh, two years, yeah, two years. So this is really great, and uh, or even three years, who knows? I mean, my math is not really good right now, but uh, so really, this is really great. So the Connexus Platinum, ours, our best of the best, 10 over 10. Let me give you a quick overview here, folks. Obviously, we have talked about getting a balance transfer card from uh, a credit union. This is really great, but there are two things you need to pay attention to. First of all, you need to think about how to choose a credit union and then how to choose a balance transfer credit card. And I want to quickly talk to you about how to choose a credit union. Okay, choosing a credit union is largely a matter of personal, like, personal preference. Okay, however, there are some important factors to consider. You wanna think about the services that the, the credit union offers, all right? What are the financial services? What are their savings rates? This is important. What are their lending rates? Okay, and do you have any kind of deposit insurance? Because right now, uh, credit unions are regulated at the national level by the NCUA, right? And so you want to make sure that your your money is safe. Do they have a credit card rewards program? You want to pay that? You want to pay attention to that? What are, what about branches and ATM locations? Because otherwise, you know, you will be stuck with one AT, with one local ATM. You you can't really move. So you want you have to be very careful about that. What about their membership fee? What are the conditions for enrollment? Think about those things. I want you to have a conversation with yourself or your partner about those things. What about the monthly checking account fees, if any, okay? Because at the end of the day, there are pros and cons of credit unions, right? So what are the pros here? Those credit unions are tax exempt. They are non-for-profit organizations controlled by boards of directors. They generally offer higher interest rates for deposit accounts. They offer low interest rates for auto financing, home mortgages, and personal loans. They may charge lower fees than banks, right? Because they they don't have a responsibility to their shareholders. They have members, okay? And most credit unions offer many types of savings and lending products and services, okay? They generally have a reputation for personal service, friendliness, and high customer satisfaction. And that is so true. That is true. And one thing you need to understand is that in this context, you got to be very careful about some of the cons, some of the drawbacks. One thing you need to understand is that all credit unions have membership criteria, okay? So these requirements may, may be easy to meet, but they're not open to everyone everywhere. And they may charge you a fee to join, okay? Now, the amount may be as nominal as say $5, but it's not zero. So you gotta pay something, okay? And some small credit unions may not offer a full menu of products and services, okay? And for example, you may not have a credit card at the credit union that you have so this is why you need to be very careful and make sure that the the kind of services that you are expecting are offered are provided by the credit union that you want to go with now let me quickly talk to you about how to choose a balance transfer credit card okay uh, it's very important to understand that when you want to transfer balances, there are a few things you want to make, you want to think about so that you don't actually end up losing. First, you want to understand how the 0% intro APR period works. Okay, in general, the longer the promotional period, the better, right? So we have more time to pay off the balance without interest, meaning you could make smaller monthly payments, which can be helpful when you have other financial obligations each month. So this is important. and. The, the, if you think, if you take, let's say you take the Connexus uh, Platinum, you you have there 20 months. That's a lot of months, okay? But what, what you want to do is you want to see how this will fit into your budget. Are you making smaller payments? What kind of other debts do you have? So it's very important to understand how the 0% intro APR period works. Also, consider the balance transfer fee, okay? Some credit unions charge you 0% percent some charge you three percent some four some five percent think about that you want to take note of your current credit card issuer in other words 
you are transferring your balances from one issuer to another. So make sure that you, you actually smooth things out with your current issuer so that, so that you're not burning bridges. You never know. You never know. Okay. And also you want to think about how this whole balance transfer will affect your normally a balance transfer does not affect your uh, credit score or your, your credit report. Okay. But you want to think about your credit utilization because uh, this will have an, an impact on your credit utilization as well as your payment history. And you, this is why you want to continue making payments before the balance transfer is finalized with your current issuer. Okay. Do not stop making payments because then you, if something happens and whatever, you could actually end up losing a few points on your credit score. You nobody wants that. So keep making payments on your current credit, uh, your current, uh, credit cards before i do a recap here folks please check out our short credit card evaluation approach video we do have a method on this show when it comes to evaluating categorizing and listing credit cards on this show check this out Alright folks, in today's conversation I was talking to you about the top 10 balance transfer credit cards from credit unions with 0% APR on balance transfers and purchases. Number 1, Connexus Platinum, 10 over 10. Number 2, we have uh, Connecta, My Perks Rewards, 9.5 over 10. Number 3, we have NIH FCU Visa Platinum, 9.5 over 10. Number 4, we have Service Credit Union Visa Signature Everyday Elite, 9 over 10. Number 5, we have Connexus Max Cash Preferred. 9 over 10. Number 6, we have Aligned Visa Platinum, 8.5 over 10. Number 7, we have Consumers Credit Union, 8.5 over 10. Number 8, we have Navy Fed, 8 over 10. Number 9, we have Pen Fed, 7.5 over 10. And number 10, last but not least, we have American Heritage Credit Union Platinum Preferred, 7 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.